This is pet cleaning power hour. I am going to be cleaning after this big boy. So this is Casper. He is coming up to five, five years now. So he's five years old um, in July. So very soon he's going to be a very big boy. I've had him since he was a puppy, so about two months old. If you haven't seen the video of him growing up from two months to 12 months, go and check it out now. I'll add the link and basically today I'm going to be showing you what I do in order to clean the house. I'm going to be focusing on the downstairs only. I've actually got the boys so I say boys it's going to be Casper my baby boy son uh, who's uh, 11 months now and my husband who will be going out um, having a fun time at the park whilst I do a quick power hour so I'm going to clean the downstairs I'm gonna hoover I'm gonna mop I'm gonna show you how I do the stairs especially when it comes to like muddy paw prints and basically I'm gonna show you the tips and tricks that I do in order to keep my home safe and clean when I've got a baby and a huge dog <laughs> You're going to go without mummy. So here we are. The boys went out, so it's time to put up my hair and roll up my sleeves and get to it. So as you can see, first I'm starting with tidying up and I'm putting away all of my baby boy's toys to their rightful places, whether I'm putting it away into the ottoman or just putting them to the side because I know that he will grab that later when he comes back home. I'm doing a straightforward hoover over here, so doing a bit of a vacuum, making sure that that rug is really nice and hairless because, oh my goodness, even within the day, it's just amazing how much a Casper can leave on that rug. So I'm just giving it a really nice hoover. Now I'm taking Casper's bed off the floor. I'm wiping it down or like getting rid of like, like the fur bits off of it and anything else that I found under the sofa as well. I'm gonna give that a good hoover as well and then put that bed back once that's done. A quick tip from me is you should turn around your furniture because the hair can really get stuck underneath all the bits and you'll see later on as well that I do the same with my dining room chairs.
I don't know what the proper way to empty a vacuum is, especially a Dyson, but what I do is actually use a cocktail stick. Um, so it's just, I think it's a bamboo stick basically, and it's really easy to just use it in order to get rid of all the bits from inside. The other thing that I do is actually I use the scissors to open up the extension, so like the bit that actually picks up all the fur. And as you can see, I've taken it out and it's so much easier to actually empty it when it's taken apart this way. So I actually have to do this every single time. I do love to give our floors a good mop because Casper comes in with muddy paws even when he goes into the garden and it's raining he always manages to bring back dirt so when you've got a baby I've got an 11 month old it's not great to have all that dirt on that floor so this mop makes it so much easier just to bring it out and wash it put that like um, I think it's like a cloth thing that attaches to it on on the device and then start using it which is really really awesome the other thing I was going to mention is the fact that our floors are really old actually we've been living in the place for six years and these floors were used by the previous owners goodness knows how long for so they're very very old and they're definitely worth replacing sooner or later so we might do this unless we move very very soon but giving them a mop once a week is definitely worth it nonetheless
time to tackle that carpet. Yes, it's also disgusting and very much so like our flooring, it's very, very old. So I will have to clean it anyway because even though we are replacing it in a couple of weeks time, I don't want muddy pores on my stairs. I'm going to use this scrub which is really good because it has like an attachment that like scrubs the foam onto the stairs and the carpet and then it tells you to leave it for three minutes. So I'm going to do that and then in the meantime I'm going to do a few other bits whilst I wait for it to foam up and for the solution to start working. So I tend to use bicarbonate soda for pretty much any kind of cleaning from washing up to cleaning the floors to cleaning the scatting boards and the walls. So that's exactly what I'm doing now. I'm just adding two scoops of this into just some water and then basically use a damp cloth that's rinsed with that solution on the walls, on the skirting boards as you will see in a minute. Not only is it a really cheap and great way of cleaning around the house but it's also an eco-friendly way because it doesn't have any harmful chemicals. If these aren't damp patches on the stairs, I tend to go back and try again. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know about you, but I think we did a, such a good job. So I am going to relax. I think I've well deserved it. I've earned it after doing such a good job with the downstairs and I hope that these tips are actually useful to you to keep your house clean especially when you've got such a muddy and hairy dog like I do. So thanks so much and I'm gonna wait for the boys to come back with a nice cup of tea.
Айден, скажи бай-бай, бай-бай, пока, бай-бай,